Hi everyone, if you're watching this, hopefully you are considering undertaking the bonus project that I've assigned for our Finance 310 class in uh, this uh, in the spring semester. So uh, what would I like, like you to do? Well, on Canvas, you already have this document, so let me just go through it. Essentially, your goal is to take the portfolio that you've been managing via the portfolio management project put it into the portfolio management function in Bloomberg, and then report some of the uh, more interesting functionality of Bloomberg. Uh, so I'll ask you to pull out the VAR of your portfolio, uh, the holdings of your portfolio, and also the uh, performance of your portfolio. So here in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that using my portfolio. So first things first, you need to create a portfolio in Bloomberg. So, let me go over to the PRTU function. So, PRTU, uh, this is your portfolio administration function in Bloomberg. And these are all random portfolios that I've created over the last several years. Uh, to create a portfolio, you're going to go up here to create and then enter the name of the portfolio. So I'll call this Demonstration 1. And you can give this a longer name or not. Uh, so I'll just call this the Demonstration Portfolio. Uh, most of my portfolio is equity, so I'll just make sure that's selected as equity. Uh, I haven't selected a benchmark. I was considering asking you to do that, but I'm not going to ask you to do that. Uh, you could put in a, a benchmark like uh, any, well, say our, our mutual fund benchmark that we listed in the, the, portfolio, the portfolio management project, but uh, I won't include one here. Uh, so that's basically it, uh, very simply, uh, to get us started. So I'll just click Create. And now, we have to enter in all of our holdings. And I know some of you, and this will be true of myself, uh, have many, many trades that you've made. So here's my portfolio since the start of the portfolio management project. As you can see, I have three pages worth of trades. To help simplify this and not penalize people who have made a lot of trades, go ahead and select 10 trades that you've made uh, maximum. So if you want to make that the 10 earliest trades or uh, the 10 largest trades or just the 10 best trades if you want, uh, feel free. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just put in about two or three trades here just to speed up the video uh, and you can get a sense of what I'm going to do. So first things first, I'm going to enter in this trade, this buy order that I made on 125-2021 and I bought 650 shares of the S&P 500 ETF. So to get us started, I'm going to, in this uh, date cell, I'm going to specify this trade occurred on 1-25-2021. And I bought the S&P 500 ETF, and I bought 650 shares. Uh, if you're trying to designate a short trade, just put a negative here. But I didn't short these, so that's why we have a positive. Okay, so. I did that. Next, why don't we go ahead and select Google, or we'll go out, uh, Apple. So this is probably my worst performing trade of the semester. Uh, so again, 125-2021, I bought 135 shares of Apple. And I bought 135. And I'll just hit enter to lock this in. Now, for my final trade, why don't I select a security that I uh, bought a little later on a different date? How about, oh, how about this? I did a lot of sell orders. Let's go with, uh, oh, I mistakenly uh, made a market buy order of. Kasava Sciences, but uh, no, I won't do that. Uh, why don't we go ahead and just do this uh, this Vanguard 
uh, small cap 600 ETF. So I bought this on 2-1-2021, ticker symbol VIOO and 1,000 shares. So VIOO, there we go. And I bought, let's say, 1,000 shares. All right, there we go. We have, ah, see, I made the mistake. I was, I was going to try and warn you of, uh, uh, before you change the date, go ahead and click the Save button. And then, uh, notice here what I did was I, I had started entering the VIOO, but I hadn't changed the date. So if I had entered it and, uh, and actually gone through with that trade, it would have been logged as if I made that trade on January 25th and not on the actual date that I made the trade, which was February 1st of 2021. So let's go ahead and correct that. I had a thousand shares. Hit enter. And there we go. I've entered in all of the trades that I think I want to uh, include in this portfolio for demonstration purposes. So I'll save this. And now we can analyze this. And to do that, you can either go to the port function or you can hit this analyze button. All right, so I obviously hit the Analyze button, and here you can see my portfolio. So this is the Demonstration 1 Demonstration Portfolio. You can use the drop-down to select your portfolio. And there's really three pieces of information, or rather three tabs from which I'd like you to collect data. First, I know I talked about VAR, so the 95%, the 90% VAR. Why don't we actually go ahead and just get this? So. I will go to the VAR tab, and it'll take a few seconds to get your data. Give it a few seconds, it'll, it'll come up eventually. Uh, go ahead and, so right now this is, the default is at the 90% confidence interval or level. We want this at the 95, so I'll change that and click go to run it. And again, it'll, th it'll take a second, but once, we're, once we have that in here, uh, what you can see right here in this column is the value at risk according to Monte Carlo simulation. The, this is the amount that my portfolio is expected to lose with, uh, with essentially uh, five, if, if there was a 5% worse outcome if we're looking at a uh, probability distribution uh, there are only 5% of possible outcomes worse than this, this possible outcome. So what this $12,078.83 says is that this is the maximum I would lose in a single day with 95% certainty. It's, it's kind of like a lower bound on how much your portfolio is expected to lose with some degree of confidence. So if my portfolio is worth, let's say, uh, 300,000, uh, this is actually, I mean, this would represent a sizable portion of that portfolio. So to download this, go ahead and, well, really what I'm going to ask you to do is download your one day VAR by selecting the current tab XLS under actions. So select actions and generate report and then current tab XLS. And this will usually take a few seconds. Uh, you just need to be patient with it, unfortunately. Uh, Bloomberg does take a little while to download or collect any PDFs or Excel templates, but in a few seconds here, it should show up. Uh, in the meantime, while this is downloading, notice here the all of the options that you have available here. You can look at your holdings. We'll get that in a few seconds. Your performance, attribution. So where your, uh, was your performance due to your stock picking ability or the fact that you just bought in the right asset classes. Uh, there's a lot of things that can be detailed with this, this port function. Okay, so here's our VAR, and we've, we've successfully downloaded this analysis. 
Uh, what we're going to do is, I'm just going to go ahead and save this any old place. Doesn't matter. We'll call this the bonus project, and we'll make it a an XLSX document. Okay, so that's cool. What we'll do as we download two more spreadsheets is we'll just copy and paste them into this one. But let's go on. So the next thing that I'd like you to collect is, or download, is a spreadsheet of your holdings. And I just mentioned the holdings tab. Uh, so we're going to go to the holdings tab. And here's our holdings for this portfolio that I, I created as of 4 to 2021 and I want to download that data. So I'm going to go up to generate report and you could download it several ways. Let's get it in uh, XLS formatted. So again, it will take a little bit, uh, but you know, never fear, it does come up. Uh, now there's all kinds of other things that you can do with this. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm literally asking for, I, I think, just the, the very basics. Uh, this versus, this is where you can set a, a benchmark. It could be really any benchmark you want. Another portfolio you've created, uh, an ETF, an index, whatever you want could go right here and you can compare your portfolio's performance to that portfolio. But for this uh, bonus project, I'm not asking for that. Uh, but here we go, here's our holdings. So here, I'm just going to, uh, as you can see, we have all these holdings as of this date. So. Uh, this is exactly what I'm asking for. Yours will obviously look different because you'll have different holdings, certainly more, I'd expect. Uh, but let's copy this tab over into our other spreadsheet. And to do that, you can click on Move or Copy, and we will uh, move this to the Bonus Project. And now if I go to the Bonus Project, you can see that it that tab has been placed in the bonus project uh, spreadsheet. So there we go. All right, so that's two of the three things I'd like you to download. The third component is your performance component. And you probably know exactly where we're headed here, but you're going to go to the performance tab. Uh, and there's many places you could get data or download data from on this tab, but we're going to go to the statistical summary sub tab. And this will allow us to collect some information that you might not have seen in stock track. So let's go to performance. And then down here in the sub tabs, we'll go to statistical summary and it'll take a second. Uh, the default I believe is to give you one year's worth of performance data. Uh, if we did have a benchmark, some of this other risk return information would be filled in. Uh, but for whatever reason, it's not so. So it looks like we are Oh, there we go. Of course. Uh So let me go ahead and uh this will likely be a problem for your portfolios as well. Uh we don't have a full 3 months for which to collect data. So if you remember we started or we entered our, our first uh, purchase of shares. It was the S&P 500 and shares of uh, Apple on January 25th of 2021. As of the date that I'm recording it, this, uh, this is April 5th, so we haven't had three months. So what I'd like you to do is to select the one month from the drop-down box, and this will give you your performance. Or you could create a custom date if you really want. Uh, yeah, why don't we just go, hmm, probably bet. uh, yeah, we'll just go with the one month. All right, so here are your total return, maximum return, 
uh, standard deviation of your portfolio skewness. So how skewed is your portfolio or your portfolio's returns? Your VAR tracking error, which uh, since we don't have a benchmark, you won't have, and then your Sharpe ratio. Now, if you were to select, say, some benchmark, let's say the uh, our benchmark in this this actual portfolio, what you'd get is something different. I'll just show you this very quickly. You'd actually get your Jensen's alpha and some, several other important pieces of information like the beta, the correlation, etc. Uh, but we don't have that. Okay, so uh, these are all your benchmarks, but let me just go ahead and get rid of that benchmark now. I just I don't want to confuse anyone. Uh, so with that being said, let's go ahead and download this. So go to Actions, Generate Report, Current Tab, and here we go. Here are our performance metrics. Uh, we didn't have a benchmark here, but that's all right. Uh, what I'll do is I will move, or rather copy this tab over to our bonus project. And I'll move it to the end. Uh, well, in that case, we'll just copy and paste it. There we go. All right, so let's move this, and here are the holdings, VAR, and performance tabs from the port function. Uh, if you've got all of this information, what I'd like you to do is save this spreadsheet and then upload it to our bonus assignment uh, tab or assignment on Canvas. And Assuming you've done everything correctly, you've got your holdings entered in. Remember, you don't have to enter in more than 10 if you have more than 10. Uh, but assuming you have it all entered in correctly and you have these three tabs, I think you're looking at a lot of bonus points. So if you do have any questions, please reach out to me. I would prefer to sit down with people and help them walk through the process than just have them struggle endlessly. So. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to bring this video to a close, and I hope you have a good f remaining few weeks. Thanks.